seen Near Dark. You have to watch Near Dark. I apparently have got to go home and watch a vampire movie. Well, you but can't. before well, I do that. The problem is, the problem is you can't stream it. How am I going to find it? Well, I had to buy it off. <laughs> I had to buy the old DVD. I don't know. But what. you own a DVD, right? Oh, yeah. Perhaps you'll loan it to me. I will loan it to you. I will not keep it as long as I kept your uh, your. I would hope graphic that novel that you. That graphic novel me. is still in print. This other this, yeah. this DVD is like unique. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's been out of print for twenty years. Well, you can bring it to me next week, and I'll I watch will it. bring it to you next week. I'll be glad to. Yeah, you'll see. It's 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 basically uh, the same cast from Aliens in okay. a vampire film. The cast from Aliens in a vampire film. Yes. Okay. Yeah, Vasquez. Mm-hmm. You know Bishop. Okay. And uh, Bill Pum- Bill Paxton. Okay. Uh, Lance Hendrickson and the, the 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 tough girl Vasquez from Aliens. Okay. As vampires. All right. Plus some other guys. Okay. Yeah. All right. I mean, I'm agreeing that I'll take it home with me and watch it. Yeah, sure. it's great. Um, Amazing. We're <laughs> all of this captured for you, our patrons. Uh, what do you talk about when you get off the air? We um, talk about vampire films that you can't stream. Yes, apparently. Um, on our uh, big announcement, so first I want to invite our patrons to be part of that live stream uh, and invite you all to attend the SCWA's online conference. Um, there are some scholarships available for uh, students, and um, we've got, I think, 10 or 12 of them available. So if you have a student that you know that would like to attend but doesn't have the financial means to do so, by all means, send us a note, and uh, we'll be glad to pass that that name on to um, Amber. Or you can go to myscwa.org where they have the event itself, and there's a button there that says student scholarships. People can click on that and go ahead and apply for them online. So um, send your student scholarship uh, participants over there. And then, um, as I mentioned, uh, we'd like to have you guys as part of the live stream. So let us know if you want to participate with that, and we'll be glad to include you over the weekend. And that'll give us a chance, too, to promote your work and promote your books. Um, And then uh, as far as the time passage in the (laughs) in the novel which it took us about a half hour to get there but it only took us a half hour to cover it so it really wasn't a very broad topic anyway um i would say i'm a i'm a fan of a very subtle shift in time i'm a real fan of embedding flashbacks and using that past perfect tense uh, but i'm also a sophisticated reader and i have stumbled in a lot of our workshops of doing it on my own work and then reading it out loud and having people in the workshop go wait a second is this a flashback what's happening right now so it's a challenging piece and if you've got something like that you're trying to make it work take it to your workshop and get them to read it for you and um and let you know whether or not they knew that's what was happening or not um i don't like we had our workshop used to say like you need a spacer here and you need a whole new (laughs) spacer just put a spacer there (laughs) like i don't want a spacer i want to come in and out of the flashback and i want you to know that's what's happening that's what it's about i mean you know you take the advice and you ignore it yeah (laughs) but you listen to the advice you've considered it yes i have considered it and if you want to try something different go for it the, uh, the vampire novel is probably a lot more complicated from a time perspective than the um, than before Pittsburgh. Well, then, you know, people who read vampire novels aren't very sophisticated. I mean, look at, uh, I'm sorry, that's probably a terrible thing to say. I mean, well, I don't read vampire novels. I've read, I, I read to get ready to write mine, okay. but it's not my genre. All right, well, you know, I mean, the Twilight books aren't very uh, aren't very sophisticated, neither of any of the Anne Rice ones. I mean, she writes in a gothic style, but yeah. they're not difficult to understand. Mm-hmm. And uh, look, talk about passage of time, look at Dracula. Yeah. I mean, he handles it through a series of, uh, what? Letters, right? Letters, well, the whole thing's an epistolatory no- novel. Yeah. And it's terrible. I'm sorry. The first three chapters are amazing. After that, it gets boring. Incredibly boring. Um, all right. That's it. That's our behind the scenes for you. We're going to both go home. Um, and uh, you you get a, a good day of Irish drinking Absolutely. ahead of you. And uh, <laughs> um, I'll probably have some couch time ahead of me. So anyway, have a great weekend. Thanks for being patrons. We appreciate you. <laughs>